What's going on everybody? It's Dave here from Profitable.Tools and I was just wasting some time scrolling through Twitter and I happened upon this tweet from Derek Halpern. Derek is using Help Scout as a support desk for his supplement company, Truvani. Now obviously Derek is really upset because his bill is going to go from an already expensive amount to an absolutely ridiculously expensive amount. So this got me thinking, why doesn't he turn towards an open source platform like FreeScout? And then I kind of answered my own question in that people don't generally like to use open source software because it's a pain in the neck to install and then you got to manage it. There's no support team. If something breaks, you can go, hey, fix this. Well, what if I told you there was an easier way to do things? You simply need two tools. One of them is a cloud server. And for this video, we're going to be using Vulture. I've got a link down below. You'll definitely want to follow along step by step with me. So do this on Vulture. They'll even give you a hundred bucks if you use my link below to get started with your account. The second tool we're going to need is called Cloud Run. And this is going to be absolutely free, but you'll need an account for this as well. So again, link below, click on that. No cost as long as you stay under two apps, which is all we need for this video. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to show you how to get going with a free version of Help Scout. All you got to do is pay for the server. So there is this piece of software here called Free Scout. It's open source help desk software, and they even call out it as a help scout alternative. So maybe Derek will see this video and decide it's worth at least investigating to see if it's a good replacement for his Help Scout account. Now, there are some add-ons that you can buy, which are very, very reasonably priced. You can see tags are $7, saved replies are $5. We're definitely not going to get anywhere near the $17,000 a year price point for installing any of these individual modules. Okay, so you might be thinking to yourself, great, but how do I actually use it? I'll look at the installation and it's gonna seem really, really confusing. It's like all this Nginx, this script stuff, and I don't want to do it. I don't wanna bother with it. Well, don't worry about that. Just follow along with me step by step and we'll have this whole thing running in a few minutes. You don't need to be a tech wizard. So let's jump back to Vulture. This is gonna be our server. This is our computer that is running the software. As long as we pay our Vulture bill, the software should remain online. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a Vulture server in a second here. And while doing that, I'm also going to install this software called Cloud Run. Now, this basically gives you a graphical user interface to install open source software. So it's really nice. It takes all of that scripting and does it for you. And it feels more like you're using a SaaS. It doesn't feel like, you know, you have to be a technical genius in order to get this open source software installed. To use Cloud Run, you are gonna need an account with them. So click the link down below and go ahead and get signed up. You can use this free tier. It's just gonna limit you to only two applications at once. If you delete one, you can always install another. If you need more than two applications, let's say you wanna run WordPress and Modic and FreeScout, you can definitely do that. It's gonna cost you $15 a month for their premium plan, which allows you unlimited use of Cloud Run. All right, so let's jump over to Vulture. So you've clicked on the link down below, you get $100 in free credits, signed up for your Vulture account, and now we're gonna deploy our server that's gonna run Cloud Run for us. So here is what I recommend most people start with. We're gonna go with a cloud compute server, which is a shared CPU. If you want to go for something that is super future-proof, you could choose an optimized cloud compute server, which has a dedicated CPU. You can see that the pricing here is quite a bit more, but it will scale big basically infinitely for our purposes here, all the way up to a whopping $1,920 per month. I'm going to recommend most people begin with a cloud compute server, which even if we go to like a high frequency server here, we're basically capping out around $320 per month, 16 virtual CPUs. So not as much headroom to grow with the shared server, but for most people, this is gonna be a good fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin with the cloud compute, Intel high frequency, I'm gonna choose a location, doesn't really matter where, just choose one that's you know kind of close to wherever your customers are, and then go ahead and go over to the marketplace app section under the server image. Here, you're gonna type in Cloud Run. In fact, I can see it right over here, but if you don't see it, go ahead and type in Cloud Run, and there you go. I'm gonna click on this, and then we need to choose our server size. Now, choosing the server size is not super important in the beginning, because you can always scale it up, so I recommend starting small, and then as your server needs more resources, you can scale it up. However, in this case, I do recommend going with at least two CPUs and two gigabytes of memory. So this $18 a month plan, that'll give you plenty of horsepower to be able to run the application as well as Cloud Run in the background. 
I always recommend turning on the auto backups feature. Yeah, it's a little bit pricey. It's about 10% of the cost of the server, a little bit more than that, but it's giving you that peace of mind so that if something does go wrong with your software, remember you are now responsible, right? There's no uh, service provider to complain to because they don't have to pay for a support staff, right? You are your own support staff. So leave auto backups on, and if something goes wrong, you can always revert back to the last backup and you won't lose hopefully too much data. All right, everything else you can leave unchecked here and just go ahead and click deploy now. Okay, so just a few moments have passed, I'd say maybe 45 seconds, and now my server is available for me to use. Now, because we are also having Vulture automatically install Cloud Run for us, it's actually doing some more work in the background. So we get this little message up here that says, your server might still be installing and booting up software. So definitely be patient here. You can click on this link, which shows you the console. That's also up here. This is essentially like the monitor view of your server. So it's not logging into it, it's literally what's going on in the server you can click on this and another window will pop up and you can actually see that things are still working so just be patient wait for everything to finish and then you'll be able to begin using cloud run if you're like whoa that console thing was already too nerdy for me just wait a moment go ahead and reload the page when this goes away then you should be safe to begin using your server so while I'm waiting for everything to finish up, I actually think it's done here in the background, but I'll reload the page in a second. I wanna read these app instructions here because it's gonna tell us exactly what we need to do to finish configuring our software here. So it says, after creating a Cloud Run one-click application, which Vulture did for us, we need to visit the server's IP address in a browser to finish configuring Cloud Run. So to find the IP address, it's just right up here. They have this little icon we can click to copy that IP address. And it tells us when we visit the setup page, we'll see a domain setup screen asking for the primary domain of Cloud Run. So we're gonna be installing this on a primary domain, but we'll actually be visiting Cloud Run from my.yourdomainname.com, your right? So don't worry if you're already using your domain for something else, you can still use it with Cloud Run. It doesn't have to be a brand new domain. Apps, when they get installed, they'll have a subdomain in front of them. So it'll be like help.exampledomain.com. And it goes on here to say that more domains can be added after installation. So you can run multiple websites off of this one installation. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and reload here. And sure enough, we are ready to rock. So I'll grab this IP address one more time, open up a new tab here and paste it in. Now I'm getting this message that the certificate is not valid. That's because we haven't set up a certificate yet. There's, there's basically, Chrome is trying to protect me, right? So if you're on a PC, I think you can click this advanced button and then it'll let you proceed. There'll be like a link down here. I'm on a Mac and that does not happen. So what you actually have to do on a Mac, this is kind of weird, but you're just gonna type in this, is unsafe anywhere and it just loads right so as i type that out the page loads it's like clicking that proceed button but it's not visible for whatever reason on the the mac version of chrome all right so now we're at that domain setup screen i'm going to go ahead and set this up with my domain next it wants to know your domain configuration so what's going on here is it wants to know where you bought your domain name or where your dns records are hosted chances are you bought your domain at something like namecheap or godaddy you can choose one of these and you can actually integrate cloud run with the software so that as you launch new domains it's going to automatically add that a record inside of your dns settings now you can do what I'm gonna do, which is just use manual. It says not recommended here, but I don't necessarily want it like overriding any other records I have on my profitable tools domain. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set this up manually to have an A record for my.profitable.tools using my DNS servers. So here I am inside of my DNS provider that happens to be Cloudflare for me. I'm gonna add a new record and I type in my under the name section. So you can see here, it's gonna go my.profitable.tools and then I'm gonna point it to the IP address of my server. Now, if you don't still have this on your clipboard, just jump back over to your Vulture screen and you can copy it one more time. It's the same thing we used to access Cloud Run for the domain setup. All right, I'm gonna paste this in. In this case, I'm gonna turn off the proxy status to make sure everything is working properly. I don't really need anything proxied here. I'm not gonna have a high volume of traffic to my Cloud Run installation. And let's go ahead and hit save. Okay, so that should now be configured. I'm gonna proceed to the next step says it's adding the domain, which if I were using an API to control something like GoDaddy, it would be setting up everything in the background. But because that's not happening, it's just gonna issue a security certificate, an SSL certificate to the my.profitable.tools domain. 
If you run into an error at this point, you might just need to wait a little bit for the DNS record that we just created over in Cloudflare or GoDaddy, wherever you did yours. You might need to wait a second for that to actually propagate across the internet. All right, next I need to set up my admin account. I'll go ahead and fill in some credentials here and let's click create admin. And it tells me that Cloud Run is ready to use. Proceed to the dashboard. All right, so this is what Cloud Run looks like when you first install it. So let's go ahead and check out the app store. Now, the first thing it wants me to do is sign in with cloudrun.io. This is the account that I was telling you about. You can click the link down below. That does give me a little support, but if you don't wanna do that, you can create an account right from this screen. All right, so I am now logged into my Cloud Run account and I can see the directory of applications that I can install with just a single click. Since in this video, we're talking about help desk software, I'm gonna focus on that. So I can literally just type into the search here, help. And we'll see that there are really a ton of different applications that I could use. Free Scout being the one that we talked about early on. There's also things like Rocket Chat, which is an open source chat solution. We have OS Ticket, which is another ticketing solution. Uh, just a lot of different software available to us. I'm going to go ahead and click on Free Scout right here. Gives me a little information about the software. If it looks good, I can click install. Next, it's asking me where I'd like to install FreeScout. So it's gonna use the primary domain that I've already configured. As I mentioned before, we can add multiple primary domains to our account. Right now, I'm just gonna stick with the one we have set up, which is profitable.tools, and I'm gonna choose the subdomain of help. So my help desk will live at help.profitable.tools, perfect. Now, because I am manually configuring my DNS records, I do need to go back over to Cloudflare and add another record in for this subdomain. So back over to Cloudflare, add record, Type in help, make sure that matches exactly with what you chose in Cloud Run, and then go ahead and just paste in that IP address one more time. Again, we'll leave the proxying off and hit save. If you're not using Cloudflare, you won't see the proxy option. Don't worry about it. That's a Cloudflare specific feature. All right, user management. I can leave the user management to the app or I'll allow all users from Cloud Run. Uh, that's up to you what you choose here. I'm going to leave it at the default settings and go ahead and hit install. All right, so you can see right now it is in fact installing FreeScout. It's going pretty quickly here. It's just been about 10, 15 seconds. And it is now running. So in order to access this, I can click right here. It's gonna give me some login information. I'll go ahead and grab this. And a very important note here, typically with Cloud Run, you're able to just click a single link from your application and then you'll be logged into the application that you've installed. So if I wanted to open up FreeScout, I could just click a button and it automatically logs me in. But in order to do that with FreeScout, they sell a module to allow that feature. So you would have to buy that in order to be able to have single click login. So for right now, I'm just gonna use the regular old username and password. That feature is just 18 bucks, so very, very reasonably priced if it saves you a little bit of time. That is not an annual price, by the way. That is a lifetime purchase. All right, I'm going to acknowledge these instructions here and then open up FreeScout. I typed in my credentials that Cloud Run provided me. All right, there we go. I am logged into my very own help desk installed at help.profitable.tools. I can go ahead and configure everything. This is not going to be a free scout tutorial. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to actually get going with some of this open source software that seems to have a really big barrier to entry, but more technology is coming along and making it really easy for us to get going. Let's jump back over to Cloud Run here. I wanna show you a few more of the features that allow you to manage the app because getting it installed is one thing, but then you still have to provide the updates and the server settings and all of that stuff that can just be a little overwhelming. Well, Cloud Run does a really good job of making this very easy to handle. So I've got my apps here. Right now, we've only got the one installed. I can click the gear icon and I've got a nice graphical user interface for a lot of the server settings that you normally have to open up inside of a text editor and kind of manually change. So I can do things like resources here. I can increase the memory limit. Let's say I want this app to have two gigabytes of memory available to it. Probably not a good idea since I think my server only has two. I could go ahead and set that up right here. I could also change how much CPU it's allowed to use. So I want it to be able to use say 75% of the CPU. It's the only application I've got installed. I could change that right here. I can also go down to the cron job manager where I can actually set up the cron jobs to be running on this application if I needed to, to do so. Email, that's gonna be a very important setting for things like a help desk. So I can configure my from address here. Maybe I want it to be support at profitable.tools, something along those lines, click save. And then I need to make sure that I actually set up my outbound 
email for my Cloud Run configuration. So this is gonna be more system-wide, right? So I can set up incoming and outgoing mailboxes. So I go to outbound, I can choose a built-in SMTP server, or it is going to integrate with services that you probably already knew, know and use, things like Amazon SES, Google, Mailgun, Mailjet. There's integrations available right here. I can simply enter in my SMTP credentials and I'm able to go ahead and start sending and receiving email you can do receiving as well right inside of Clown Run. Remember that we set up server backups when we launched our Vulture account. Well, Cloud Run has a backup feature as well. I'm gonna click on my user account here and I can go down to backups. And currently we're backing up on the same server, right? So if something happened to the server, we're basically out of luck. That's why it's important to have those complete server backups, but we can configure this to be somewhere else, right? We can go to any of these file providers, Amazon S3 and Backblaze B2 being two of the most popular ones, but it also integrates with uh, Vulture's object storage. We can do uh, Wasabi. I believe they also integrate with uh, Linode and DigitalOcean Spaces. So you can have your Cloud Run installation backed up offsite so that you can have even more frequent and more backups. More backups are always better. And we can also set a schedule for the backups right here. You can configure this, of course, to be whatever is appropriate for your business. I'm over here inside of the services settings inside of Cloud Run where I can actually see each service that's running on my server. So this is like individual pieces of software that are needed to make the whole show run. So I've got MySQL, which is gonna be my database. If I'm having problems with my database, I can go in here, restart it, view the logs very easily. Uh, you know, there's no digging around in, inside any command line. It's a really, really well thought out system. I can even click in here and configure the amount of memory uh, needed and really do some, some troubleshooting without having to involve a system administration expert. Now, I know I said at the beginning of the video that if you want to use open source software, you're taking on some extra responsibility because you are the support staff. Well, that is true, but Cloud Run will provide a layer of support for you. So if you're having problems with the Cloud Run software itself, they're gonna be able to help you out to make sure that things are functioning properly. What they're not gonna be able to do is say, oh, this open source software, you know, FreeScout is giving me an error when I click on this button. Well, that might be an issue with FreeScout, right? That might be something with that development. And then obviously Cloud Run is not going to get involved. But there are a lot of features here that could help you out, like a knowledge base, app documents, a forum where you can go and interact with other users, and you can even submit a ticket to the Cloud Run engineers. Uh, if you're having problem with your installation, they'll be able to help you out. Of course, if you are enterprise level and you'd like a priority support plan, they're only 720 bucks a year, so you can go ahead and get that set up as well, and then you'll actually have an engineer that's going to be a little more proactive about helping you stay online. Obviously, I'm saying only 720 bucks a year because if we go back to Derek's post, that is a tenth of the price of his Help Scout account. Considering that these are all of the apps I can run with Cloud Run, I'd say that's a pretty good deal. Oh, Minecraft, maybe I'll start up a server for my kids. So at this point, if I wanted to add another application, it's as easy as just browsing through and repeating what we've already done. So if I see something that catches my eye, I can go ahead and install it. Of course, I could also just search for things and they let you search for alternatives. So let's say I'm looking for a Slack alternative. I can see all of the different messaging applications. Let's say I wanted to type in Google Analytics. I can see that there's three different analytics applications that I could easily install with one click to give me some analytics on what's going on with my website. Of course, I could also install a CMS like WordPress or Ghost right from Cloud Run. There is a notification system built into Cloud Run, so if something is going wrong, or in this case, there is a new version available, I can get a notification of it. It tells me what to do to fix the issue. So I need to go to settings to view the update. So I'll go over to settings here and click on settings. And I should see here, there's an update available. Let me go ahead and install that. Click update. And you can see that the installation is taking place right now. It's going to download and verify the release. Uh, we should be up and running in just a matter of seconds here. You can see that Cloud Run just went offline and it's reconnecting. That's because obviously the update is installing. So no, no reason to panic here. And we're back online. We were down for maybe, I don't know, 15 seconds here. It worked very seamlessly. All right, so what do you think? Cloud Run is pretty awesome. I've been using it for several months now and it's saved me countless hours and several headaches. So definitely go check it out and support those guys. Super awesome tool. If you have any questions about the applications that you can install with Cloud Run, like if you wanna see a full tutorial of one of the applications you see in their app store, leave me a comment down below and I will consider making that video. It's gonna do it for this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.